What's up guys, Danny Gavertz here, and today we're gonna to be talking about why I love to shoot handheld. So as cinematographers, our job is to not just light a scene, it's also to pick the motion of the camera. A lot of the times the videos that I'm filming have a lot of energy and, are, and they're fast paced and I really want to try to complement that same energy by the camera motion. And I'm not gonna get that by putting my camera on a gimbal and just like smoothly following like a boxer punching the crap out of the bag. I want to have that nice raw real movement so I can move with the boxer and kind of give the same energy that the boxer has to the audience. Handheld really allows you to immerse your audience in your film. Take a look at this quick example from a movie that I absolutely love, it's called Moonlight. A cinematographer in this situation wants to immerse you in this very personal moment, so he took the camera inside the water, had the waves crashing around, and you're getting that nice handheld feel that's putting his viewers in this situation with these two people who's learning how to swim. He's learning how to swim, the waves are crashing over him, everything feels hectic, and he wants the audience to feel that same hecticness that he's feeling himself. So yeah, shooting handheld is amazing for giving your audience the same energy that is happening within your scene. Another reason why I love shooting handheld is that you're gonna get the shots exactly how you want them framed up. You're not trying to get it on a gimbal and moving super slowly. You can angle the camera exactly how you want it super quick so you're not missing moments at all because you're able to frame it up so quickly, have it at the exact angle that you wanna have it. Filming a documentary or you're, you're filming something on an athlete and you notice the athlete is doing something really awesome that you wanna get on footage and you wanna be quick to film that, handheld is gonna be your best option to capture that fully. And another reason why I love shooting handheld is just like easier, it's so much easier. Gimbals are expensive, it takes forever to get your camera on a gimbal. It takes forever to, to do all the balancing. It takes forever to, to line up the shot properly and tune your gimbal. And a lot of times you're missing shots because you're trying to set your gimbal up and those are shots you could have been getting if you were just rocking handheld. So those are really like the three main reasons why I personally prefer to shoot handheld. It just fits my style better. It's quicker, it's easier and it makes me more relaxed on set because it's less things that I have to worry about. I don't have to worry about the gimbal. And the camera just like kind of feels like it's like an attachment to me and everything just like flows so much easier when I'm shooting handheld. Of course there's like many circumstances where you want to shoot on gimbal, you want to shoot on tripod. If the energy of that video calls for a gimbal shot, it calls for like a smooth tracking shot, then yeah, like your gimbal's totally gonna be the correct option for you in that moment. If you're filming like a long narrative, like conversation where two people are walking and talking at the same time and it's a very long scene, you don't want to give your audience motion sickness by having them listen to this like calm conversation while the camera's rocking back and forth. It's more for high energy, like quick cut, Type, uh, type videos. So how do you shoot better handheld? How, how do you hold it? What's the proper way to get it so you're not getting like ugly jitters in your footage once your hands are on it? So my first tip for you, the heavier your camera is, the, the better the stabilization of your handheld is going to be. If you think about it, the heavier your camera is, the less that your body shakes and your body movements are gonna affect the motion of the camera itself. If you have a super light camera, any motion that you have is going to affect the camera. Put your hand out, everyone has shaky hands. And if you put your shaky hands on your camera and it's small and it's lightweight, that camera's gonna shake. But if I put my shaky hands on a camera with some weight, it's not gonna do as much. And it's almost like you don't even need image stabilization on your lens if you have a heavy camera. If you're looking at my camera right now wondering why my C200 has like a giant battery pack on the back, not only does that give me a really long time of battery, but also adds a lot of weight to my camera, which I love. I love having weight to my camera. It gives me a much more polished, professional looking handheld feel. So my second tip to getting better handheld is to put more points of contact on the camera. So I like to call it five points of contact. I used to play football and I would run around and I'd have the football at five points and I wanna do the same with my camera to give it as much support as possible. So this is what I do, I got my hand grip, that's one point. Got my forearm, that's, a, that's two points. Got my bicep, that's three points. Close the gap up to my chest, that's four points. And I have my left arm here, 
right underneath the lens to give me five points of contact on my camera. And that's gonna get rid of a lot of shakes that you're gonna get. Just give you a test footage look right now. I got one, one point of contact on the camera and this is what it looks like. Now if I do all five points of contact on the camera, this is what we got. And my third and final tip for you for getting better handheld is to not try to force the camera. Don't try to force yourself to hold the camera completely still. Because when your body is tense and trying to hold still, that's when you're gonna get the most shakes. But if you're fluid and moving around, you're gonna get much smoother handheld footage. So I guess I have four tips for you because the fourth tip would be to be reactionary to your subject. Dancer is up in the air, on the ground, moving right, left, Follow your subject and react to your movements. That's uh, that's why I shoot handheld, how I shoot handheld. And uh, yeah, try it out next time. Shoot a whole video handheld and see how it goes. See, what, see if you like it. Leave the gimbal at home and uh, just like relax and shoot handheld. It's, uh, it's a lot more fun. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Thank you for following along and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.